Welcome to the Isle of Donk, everybody. I can't believe that pelican up there. Oh, we have one. All right, guys. We're on the floor just below right now in a different building. Guys, I've just seen a crate. Welcome back, everybody, to episode five of our Stormworks career mode Let's Play. At the moment, we're just about to complete a mission which we had at the end of episode four. And then we are going to go back to the starter base and I'm going to show you a tanker that I've been working on, guys. A completely new vehicle which is going to hold a lot more fuel and it's going to make a lot more money, okay? So let's hand in the mission right now and see what we get then. We've got a new one as well. Six points, six compass sensors and over nine grand. Okay, you know, again, as always, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? So, well, let's just stop these people following. Okay, now we might as well go inside here and just have a look at um, for any crates or anything like that. It's always worth a look, isn't it? In there. In there either. But there are some other levels we can go up to. Oh, in this one. Oh, yeah, there's the door over that side. We've got a load of research points right now, and actually, we have some more research to do. So, in a minute. Yeah, there's, I don't think you ever get anything in the bathrooms, actually. Um, yeah, we'll do some more research in a minute, guys. As the other one has finished now, it's completed. Oh, we have one. All right, guys. What do we get then? Let's have a look. At, whoa. Okay. 180 paintable signs. That is mad. That is, that is a lot. Okay. I didn't expect that at all. I wonder how much they are each. <laughs> I bet that's quite a lot of money's worth, actually. But then if we go right to the top, we may find an extra one, if we're really lucky. Nope, nothing up here. But there is one down below, guys. We're on the floor just below right now in a different building. So let's find out what we get here. Oh, good. Artificial Horizon. We might need that. 12 points. Very good. And just nearly a grand. I mean, it's better than nothing, isn't it? Okay. Next, I'm going to show you what research we have to do. So, oh, we, yeah, that's the other mission we got. An hour and 15 minutes to do it. And it is, yeah, it's just a passenger mission, actually. We might fit that in somewhere. But, research. Um, I think, right, we should go for, was it? Yeah, this one here, because we get steps. And we get the Azzy Thruster. Um, which, you know, I'm actually going to need steps on the next build. Also, the Azzy Thruster might come in very handy as well. I haven't really decided which kind of propeller we're going to use yet. But that one is very much an option. We get the horn as well. You know, the helm. It's pretty good. And yeah, then from that we can unlock the uh, the large engine and all, all sorts of stuff there. So that is actually pretty good, guys. I think that's what we should do. So it's only 8 points, amazingly. It takes less than one hour. Okay, let's do it. Super cheap. Um, also, yep, yeah, we've got nearly 100,000 there. Very handy indeed. Right then, I'll bring you along on a small job I've got to do first before we head back to the workbench where we'll take a look at the new boat I've been working on. Okay guys, so I thought I'd just stop off and pick up the other passengers on the way for the next mission. They are just up there if I target the mission here. There we go. They're just up on the shore. Well, actually, I think this is a fort, isn't it? So they're easy to get. There are five of them. We only have four seats, but, well, including mine, there are five. So one of them will have to stand, but that doesn't matter because, actually, they don't really fall off when you're going along. As long as we're sensible and we don't jump over big waves or anything, we'll be all right. So let me put the flashlight on here. Now, I'm sorry it's a bit dark, guys, and the rain doesn't help either, but this shouldn't take too long. Before we actually pick them up, let's go and have a look into the fort itself. And maybe we'll find a crate or something. We'll just have a look along here. In all these little holes in the sides. I don't know if you ever do find a crate in there. We'll have a look anyway. Or here. No, nothing at all. That's a shame. Well, there's, there's a lot more places to look in here. Okay, how about we go through here then into the centre. Ah, here we go. There's, there's one in there. How do we get in there? Um, You can open that. Yeah, you can't open these. 
Oh, here we go. There's, an, there's a weird door here. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's hard to get over the edge of that. Even crouching, it's like there's something pulling me out of it. Anyway, go through. Fantastic. What is inside? Five lockable buttons, 12 points, and two grand. Very good. I am pleased with that one. Okay, can we get out? Please. Oh no, it, it's weird. It's That is very odd. It's kind of chucking me to the right when I try and get out. Let's ca uh, crouch, shall we? I can't get out, guys. I'm literally stuck. I suppose it's probably meant to be a prison or something, isn't it? Yes, we're out, we're out. And... I can't even close the door that easily. There we go. Alright then. Now, we can go upstairs, actually. So let's have a quick look up there. Not sure that we'll find anything else. But why not have a quick look? There's nothing here. It's... Chests there. It's very empty, isn't it? Yeah, I can't see anything at all. Aha, guys, we found another one. Wait, is that three this episode so far? We're so lucky with these. Okay, what do we get? Six, uh, yeah, six clocks, 12 points, and two grand again. Not bad. I mean, the clocks are not that great, and I think we've already got some from a previous episode, maybe. But the points is, is really valuable, or the points are really valuable, sorry. Nothing up here. Cardboard boxes. Okay, I think that's it then. I think we've probably seen most of it. Bet we've missed a few th areas, but actually we didn't go up here, did we? Cannons up there. Or one cannon and some wood. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing else. All right then. Let's go and collect our passengers. We've got five of them here. Um, we'll have to be very careful as they follow us down the steps because they can get themselves into trouble. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be alright. I'm just going to carry one of them. Reduce potential hazards here. Oh no, 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 please. Okay, oh, oh. I've got so much anxiety, guys, around these things. Okay, um, that was lucky. It almost ended up down there in the water. I do have sharks turned on, by the way, guys, so... I think you have to be in the water for a certain amount of time before the sharks actually appear. Or at least that's how it seems. Oh no, quick. No, put him back. <laughs> this could be bad. This could be bad. Get them on into the seats. Actually probably grab them from here. And that was going backwards. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> why are you going backwards? Okay, now this one will have to stand. Um, I'll probably stand them just behind me, actually. Just right there, okay? Right, job done. Okay, guys, so if we have a look at the mission details here, um, as you can see, five people and an hour and 43 minutes remaining. It's so much time. It's super easy, this mission, and it's actually on the way, or sorry, um, our base is on the way to this mission. So I think what we're going to do now is head back to base, bring the people with us, um, I'll build the boat there, because in the workbench, I don't believe that time actually passes, so it won't make much difference. Um, we'll build the boat, and then um, when that is complete, we'll finish off the mission and then end the episode there, guys. Alright, so I'll see you at the starter base in a short while. Okay, welcome back to our starter base, guys. We've just got the five passengers on shore here while they wait for us to build an entire tanker, okay? But now let's head over into the workbench and I'll show you the first stage of our new creation. Here she is then, the first tanker. And um, if we look around the back first of all, perhaps. So here is the bridge. Obviously, there's nothing in it right now. This is only stage one of the build. Um, I put some windows in the in the roof here just to get some extra light in. And then down here, I've actually got a cabin. So, you know, I'm going to actually, these uh, darker squares are going to be for outfits, you know, like scuba diving gear and all the rest of it. Um, the bed might come in really handy, a light switch, a couple of lights, a clock in there at the moment. Then here, because the boat, the boat is so big compared to this build area that I had to, like, 
recess the ladder into the hull itself otherwise it wouldn't fit they wouldn't let me build it so there we go um, a really really round bow here just to get as much air as possible into the hull so we get more buoyancy we have a keel down here um, at the stern the keel may change a little bit because well I need to put propellers in and stuff of course but that's the general idea of it and it, as you can see here we've got weight blocks going all the way down the center keep our center of mass really low if possible I mean that that is the center of mass right now we will most likely have to lower it a bit but as you can see loads of weight blocks down here and um, also because this is actually this here is the bottom of the hull and here is inside the keel so we could actually put batteries and stuff inside the keel as weight but also saving space in the main hull itself so I think that's quite a good idea I might uh, I might try to do that anyway we'll see guys okay but that is the first stage just before we continue guys I have some research to do and as you can see there's nothing going on right now so I reckon we should do land vehicles next the reason is that um, we need the spotlights you need to have underwater lights and you know at night time it's very difficult to see of course so that's what I'm going to do next we'll get that underway and then carry on looking at stage two okay so I would say this is stage two guys but actually <laughs> I've almost finished it now so um, there are still a couple of things to do but here we go this is almost the final version of our tanker here and um, I think in a minute I'll spawn it in and do a walk around so I'll just go around quickly in the workbench so we can see inside the hull actually it holds 23,000 litres of fluid cargo. And then in, inside the hull here, um, four fuel tanks, about 2,800 litres of fuel. Um, a couple of batteries there. I've also got more here as well. Um, that's six medium batteries in total. A couple of generators on gearboxes. Two gearboxes for the main engines. And as you can see, that is actually the same engine stack from... The other boat I've actually I have changed it slightly but I have just copied it over because it worked so well before this here is a sensor for fluid capacity so we can see how much air we have inside the hull and it's currently around 150,000 litres um, which is pretty good I think so far so underneath we've got twin ASI thrusters here and just one rudder which seems to work pretty well I have tested this uh, briefly so I know it works um, then Here's the keel. We now have weight blocks underneath the keel as well. It is going to be quite heavy when the tank's full, guys, um, because it is 23,000 litres in there. So, I mean, it should be all right when it's underway. But, you know, at a standstill, it will be tipping forwards a bit. I've done the best I can to prevent that. Um, that's partly what this round bow is for. And also, I have taken out so much weight from here. See wedges on the sides. Um, there is more work I can do. But if you put wedges on the deck here, when you walk over it, you sort of bounce up and down. The physics are a bit dodgy with that at the moment. So I thought maybe I'll leave the decks as uh, as normal blocks for now. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, microcontroller for the fuel tanks to combine them into one. And then we've got a, uh, a standard setup here. Just actually similar to the other boat uh, with a pump and a knock gate and a valve there. Um, and we have this is where you actually refuel the main tanks back here but then here's the cabin so actually instead of going in now we'll spawn it in and do a walk around is so let's go down into the cabin the flashlight on here as well right now I mean, it is quite bare at the moment. There's nothing really in here. But as you can see, now I've got shelving for the outfits when we have uh, researched them. And I've done a bit of painting inside. Yellow lights. I thought they went really well with the red, actually. So I'm quite pleased with that. Now here, I managed to fit a winch on because the boat is essentially right at the back of the build area. So I couldn't put the winch sticking out any further than that. But um, I've got an electrical connector here. So when you spawn it in... That just attaches automatically and holds it in place. But then here we have the controls are up and down. Um, I think I've got work lights. Yeah, stern work lights as well, actually. So one is um, just here, and the other one is underneath. And I might put a spotlight there instead, the one that we're researching right now. But for now, that gives us a bit of room. You know, if we actually drop the connector down by accident, or if we need to hook up to something which is a few meters underwater... They could come in really handy, those lights there. 
Um, and that is, that's a release. So we press that and then it releases from the electric connector there. It should reattach, I think. Might need to do that on my own. Oh yeah, it's done it, look. It has done it. Occasionally the water does, as you can see, it, it, it kind of floods over, over the deck there, but it's pretty okay for the most part. Um, have we seen everything? I'll go into the bridge now. Got some lights recessed into the into the superstructure there. I've also got handles here, which, you know, they're probably not going to be used. But I just thought in real life, you know, if you had handles here, that would help you get up quite well. A lot of boats have this kind of feature. And so I've got the same on both sides. And then here, well, <laughs> loads of buttons. We do need the instrument panel to tidy up these uh, switches here. But stern and bow connectors, I don't think I've got a stern connector just yet, but we do have the winch and the bow connector is up there as well. Um, various, you know, light switches, I can show you those now. Um, I, most of them are connected, we may be missing a few. But there we go. really like the yellow with this red, it's pretty good I think. Um, yeah, the, the lights do cause a bit of a performance hit unfortunately. Um, but anyway... Yep, we've got the standard temperature and RPS. Uh, that will be speed, but we don't have a speed sensor unlocked yet, guys. That will be on the way, of course. Um, compass that we got from a crate. Fuel gauge, a couple of generators, and a battery level display there. Otherwise, it's actually quite similar to the previous boat. And this button here doesn't do anything. My engine start is now there. Um, right, so I've got a gear too. As you saw um, inside the hull, I've got two gearboxes. That is a second gear, and it does enable us to go faster and save more fuel by lowering the RPS at the same time. So um, you guys will see that when we take it out for a spin later on. But that's it, guys, all right? So I'm going to do some final finishing touches, and then we'll actually uh, we'll go and complete the last mission before we end the episode there, all right? See you in a minute. Right then, so we're just filling up the diesel, and uh, here are the passengers. Let's get them on board. I'll put some seats on now. Um... Four in the cabin, and then there's a couple here next to the pumps as well. So, we'll grab all these people. I don't know if they're going to all follow me on. We'll have a go, shall we? Could end up badly. <laughs> How far can they jump? Oh! Okay, not bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> they all made it in here. Okay. Should be very straightforward. One of them will have to go down on the deck. That's alright. I think the fuel must have been... Yep, we finished fueling now. Put this one down here. And uh, take the fuel fuel hose off. Down there, shall we? And then we'll be off, guys. So, I have tested the boat already. Oh, I think... Yeah, we want to start with about 12% or so. It should be fine. And then let's just get a waypoint up. Actually, no, we don't need one. We've already got one. It's not that far away, and we might discover a new island or something, actually. So, gradually put the clutch on here. I haven't quite sorted out the gears properly just yet. I mean, it does work. <laughs> I know it works, but it's not perfect. There we go, then. As you can see, it is a bit heavy at the stern at the moment. That's a good thing in a way, because when we fill up with jet fuel or whatever, uh, further down the line, it will be it will be nose heavy, but the weight of the stern helps it to not be too heavy at the front, the bow. And it is morning, so plenty of time uh, and good visibility ahead. 54 minutes to complete the mission. Loads of time here. Let's get a bit of speed on. And uh, what do we want here? Any lights? Probably nav lights, I reckon. Where are they? That, that one just there. Again, we don't have a speed sensor yet. We have to unlock that, actually. So that's why you can't see anything there. Here's the generators. Um, I can't remember what gear ratio they're on right now, but they're working. Battery is at full. Um, ah, now what I did add, guys, just um, after the last section of the video, I, I put the same water detection system, or flooding detection system, into this boat here as well. So, seven kilometres to go. Uh, yeah, basically it's the same, so that, that dial will flash red when, um, I think, 0.01% of water this time goes into the hull, and then just pump it out with that button there. There's four pumps down below. Um, one in each corner of the boat, essentially. 
What else do we need? Deck lights. Okay. All the passengers are here. Yeah, the water... It's not too bad, is it? But any waves and that cabin will be flooded, I'm afraid. We could put a door on it eventually when we unlock them. We don't have any doors unlocked currently. What else did I do? I think I added... I added a second cleat, actually. Which are these things here. Um, I did a couple of bits and pieces, but not much, really. I did some painting. Correct a few things. Everything in here is the same, apart from the pumps. There you are, you can see them there. Same as before on the other boat. So it's fairly efficient, and of course we got the second gear. Um, I don't know when the best uh, time to use it is, but... We go up to about 64. The RPS is 11.6. Going to second gear. Now the speed will drop down a little bit. But the RPS goes down a lot, and then when you go full power, the, the RPS is 12, almost 13. Then if we drop out of gear 2, that will increase quite a lot, and it might hit the limiter actually. There you go, it's hitting the limiter. And I tested it out with a speed, uh, speed sensor in creative mode, and actually... Um, it's about two and a half knots faster in gear two at full power. Guys, I've just seen a crate, <laughs> so we're going to turn back and get that. Just about there it is. Yes, another one. And we only have four and a half kilometers to go. Now, I might be able to get it from the deck actually. I'm not sure if we're too high up. We slow right down. We'll go into gear one. We'll try to pick it up without stopping. That might be a bad idea. I mean, we will slow down a lot. Hopefully, we won't stall. There we go. That's pretty close right there, isn't it? Right, let's go down here. If we can grab it. Pouching. Yes. All right. Three wheels. Oh no, sorry. Four wheels. Nine points and four hundred dollars. Let's go. Welcome to the Isle of Donk, everybody. This is where we complete our mission here, just 100 metres onto the shore. So let's take our NPCs over there and see what we get. Yeah, but wait, has one of them disappeared? Oh no, I've got one. Okay. Oh, obviously they don't follow. <laughs> I went a bit too fast for them, I think. Oh no, don't drown, don't drown, please. Don't drown. Oh, you know what I mean, guys? <laughs> These NPCs, they really are... A worry. Okay, stay. <laughs> Stop jumping. Okay, come on then. <laughs> oh dear. I'll always recommend carrying one of them, guys. Always carry one. Okay, what do we get then? Hey, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Nine points, two ABS gates, all right, and eight and a half grand. Okay, guys. What are you waving for? that? The pelican just floating in mid-air. <laughs> Let's go and have a look, shall we? I can't believe that pelican up there. Yeah, it is it's literally standing on nothing right now. Oh dear. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We've got plenty of interesting plans for the future. If you've got any ideas or suggestions, anything you want to see me do in the game, or any other game that is, uh, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, thank you so much guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.